What is up folks, this is Aircast, and welcome back to Infinity. Alright, so, more and more slimes. Um, it's actually, it's been about, I don't know, maybe a couple minutes since the last episode, but I wanted to go ahead and get this going so we could, well, move to a little bit better location. Alright, so, I wanted to, at the end of the last episode, make... Some obsidian chests, and actually, I just realized I need two obsidian chests, so let's go ahead and stick some more uh, stuff in here. I need six sand, but I'll take a couple of minutes to get to. And we need some diamonds as well, so I'll just stick those in my inventory. All right, so we were trying to make a draconic chest, and for that, we need some obsidian chests. And that slime is going to drive me crazy. Where are you? Come here. I know, well, the reason, main reason, I could deal with the slime myself, but when there's a spider or a slime or something just bouncing constantly when you're trying to watch an episode and the person that is recording is just ignoring it, it drives me nuts because, I don't know, there's something about... When you're recording the episode, it's not that big a problem. Yeah, it's annoying, but not being able to do anything about it is much more difficult than just ignoring it while you're playing. Uh, but yeah, anyway, maybe that's just me, but uh, it really, really bothers me. All right, so we're going to need a couple chests of our own. I might have one in there somewhere. Yeah, there's the one. And I've got some more wood here. All right, so we're going to need two chests. So let's go ahead and make one out of this acacia wood. Okay, and might as well just go ahead and make them at the same time. All right, so we've got our iron. Let's upgrade it to gold. And two. And then from there we need... Uh, not that. We need like this. And like that and then one two and one two and that'll get us diamond <sighs> and this is why the slimes are driving me crazy because as soon as you kill one they're back all right so we've got our city yeah and especially when they get stuck in the water and then they just make the bouncing noises constantly It's really weird how this grass actually grows underwater. I'm not sure what's causing that, to be quite honest, but it's very strange. All right, let's go ahead and make the rest of it. All right, we don't need those anymore, but we're not going to be able to really get rid of them. And I'm actually really curious about these treasure chests because they're really pretty. I like the blue one. Um, all right, where is it? It should be. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we've got these. We just need to make a crafting table and we need to make a furnace. Okay, so we actually have just enough in here to make the furnace. Okay, and we have enough in here also to make a crafting table. Awesome. I did not plan for that, but it worked out just fine. All right, like that. These around the outside. And... Ah, there you are. Not in the middle. Okay, so was it like this? Yes, draconic chest, awesome. Now let's see if we can charge this thing. Doesn't look like it connects, crap. Well, I kind of figured that, but eh. All right, so, hmm. Actually, you know what? I wasn't gonna use these till later, but I wonder if I can make them now. I don't know what they're called. Are they called cables? No. Yes, they are. Awesome. Okay. So, if you use these RedNet energy cables, they will actually translate EU to RF. And I should be able to use them. All right. So we're gonna need some electrum. Oh, okay. We can make some out of make them out of gold as well. 
Okay, so we're going to need redneck cables, which are going to need plastic. Crap. Which are going to need some raw plastic. Which I should be able to get from rubber. Okay, so if I smelt these up, I should be able to get the raw plastic, which then you combines into the other. All right, so this is going to take uh, just a minute, so I will be back when this is done. Okay, so I should have enough of this stuff done by now. I can actually probably do a little bit more, but eh. All right, so I'll, I'll end up turning it into plastic because that's the only thing it's actually good for at this point. But, oh, I need some redstone. Um, got that in here, and that should be more than enough. All right, so we'll go like this and like that. And I'll actually need a good amount of this stuff, so I'll go ahead and do two of them. And then we needed a redstone block like this, as well as something else, some gold. Oh, do I still have gold? Yes, I have exactly enough. Okay, so then we went like this and like this, and that gives us the cables. Now, I don't know if they'll connect to normal cables. Um, uh, maybe? I don't know. Let's try it. Is this getting anything? No, it's not. Okay, so this is not going to work. But I know that we can... Oh, I can see some drill on this. Okay, so I can go ahead and unpower this stuff. And just go like this. Right here. And actually, that'll still work. But we can go like this, and it should be... Yep, we're getting RF. It's going to charge very, very slowly because of what we have it hooked up to. Just a normal bat box. But it will be powered that way. This is something, actually, I tried to figure out for quite a while. But I finally figured out that all it took was just this cable from MFR. So I was very thankful that there was, was a way to do that because I, I didn't want to go ahead and make all of this stuff and then have to, you know, dive into a lot of generators for, like, the RF production, obviously, that I can't use. Um, I can't, the machines that I can't use, sorry. I'm having a hard time thinking of how, ex how to explain it. But all the machines that are only powered by RF and then I would have a whole bunch of stuff that was powered by IC2, and I wouldn't be able to combine my energy storage. It was That was the main thing that I was worried about. So I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out, you know, different tricky ways you can use to convert it over to RF for me to use. But then I discovered this nice little RedNet energy cable that did it for me. So... Yeah, I think there is a good deal of loss going between the two, but it's just the way that it works, so I'm not too, too bothered by it, to be honest. I'm just happy that I can actually do it. So, yeah. We have our Draconic chest, nice and powered. Alright, so I'm going to do a bunch of other stuff off camera, and then we'll come back and show it to you. Sound good? All right, so I will be back in just a little bit. All righty, folks, so I'm in the process of doing renovations right now, but I noticed when I was gathering a few materials that, unfortunately, you can't put coal that's been silk-touched into a macerator, which is rather unfortunate. So we're going to have to do a combination of things to get this going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a pulverizer. So the other option is I could make a rock crusher, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one because it's a little simpler and it doesn't take up nearly as much room as a rock crusher does. We're gonna make a rock crusher for other reasons down the line, but for now we're just gonna make a pulverizer and it's only gonna be a tier one. I'm not gonna worry about making a higher tier one. All right, but that does mean we need a few materials. All right, so we need a 10 gear, which is gonna make glass and iron. Okay, so let me go ahead and 
stick this in here and I'm just going to use these red red net energy cables for the moment uh, I don't want to do a whole lot well you'll see you'll see <laughs> uh, isn't that awesome uh, I love the draconic chest it makes things so much easier when you're working with just some a few materials so they're great early on but yeah all right, so I need some glass, I need some iron, I need some tin, plenty, actually is that tin? Yeah, let's go ahead and use the partial stack. Um, what else do we need? Pulverizer. We're going to need copper gears, so we're going to need some copper, some flint. Uh, one, two, let's grab some copper. Okay. And I think we're going to need some, some gold and redstone. Alright, so just a little bit of gold and just a tiny bit of redstone. Alright, so let's just see if I can make everything off the top of my head. I don't think I can. Alright, so let's go ahead and try anyway, just because. Alright, so we've got our reception coil. Okay, so we need some 210 gears. I think I can just do this with iron in the middle. Okay, so we've got our tin gears. We need copper gears. Can I do these with iron in the middle? Yes. Uh, do I need two of these? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't think I can do this. All right, um, we need something to do with glass. I think it was the copper gear in the middle. And is it iron around the outside? Nope. All right, yeah, this is the thing I can't remember. Alright. Okay, so it's 10. Okay, we needed the copper gears for this. We needed the 10 one for that one. Okay. Alright, so machine frame. Looks like we don't need two 10 gears. Alright, and then like this. And what did we need on top? A piston. Okay, well thankfully I have have a second fork bench. Um, but I had more than that of... Let's go ahead and just grab some acacia wood. And the reason I'm using acacia wood is I just don't really like the orangey color to it, so... Alright. Like that. Like that. Actually, no, it's not like that. I always get them backwards for some reason. I'm not sure quite why, but I don't know. Whatever. Alright, iron, and there's our piston. And like that. Okay, so we've got a pulverizer. And as you will see, it's charging up with energy. So, yeah, that makes these redneck cables absolutely amazing. And that means that we can, later on down the line, use the big... Um, draconic energy storage unit so that's gonna be pretty awesome once we get there but that's gonna be quite a while because even though I did smelt up these ingots and we have 44 so I can make some more stuff like the sword which I'm gonna make pretty soon because I want to get some souls going um, yeah it's it's gonna be a while because I'm nowhere near the point I don't I think I have two ender pearls and that's it too. <laughs> and this looks really funny sitting there, but yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to use it for much, really. I just want to be able to make these guys. Woohoo! Because I'm going to need a lot of coal, so yeah. You'll see. Alright, so I will be back in a little bit. Alrighty, folks, so we made some progress here. Uh, this has taken a lot of coal because you don't put. Uh, single coal pieces in the center to make the center of some smooth stone you actually put let me show you oh it's not on there anymore um oh, the hex plating I say it's actually coal blocks so yeah and that is really really expensive but I think it looks pretty awesome so I still have the ceiling to do 
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Actually, I think I am. But to do it, I'm going to need a lot of ender pearls, which I don't have. So we're going to do something temporary later on. And hello, chickens. Um, but yeah. So what I would like to do is get prepared to move this stuff. I'm not going to move it just yet, but I still haven't made my electric wrench. So, oh yeah, I have. Dope. Alright, well, I still need to make my tree tap. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's say I knew there was one of these I'd made, and one of them that I hadn't, but I wasn't sure which one. So, apparently I have made my electric wrench. I just need to make my electric tree tap. Alright, so we need to see what all we can make off the bat. So, first off, we need to make two of these, which I can actually make. That's awesome. Okay, so what else do we need? We need to make one of these. And can I make this? It doesn't look like I've got the tin. Okay, so let's pull these out. And I thought I had a hammer and some cutters. They're probably in a chest somewhere. Well... Oh, they're there. Okay. So, we've got them in here. So, let's go ahead and do that. Like... Oops. And I'm just going to make two extras. It's not a big deal. I'll use them in something else later. Alright, so... We'll make this, and that'll free up a little bit of room. Uh, we need to make three of these. Is that right? Um, oh, actually, we need those, too. Alright, so one more. And we'll go... Like that. Could have probably made these off camera, but eh, whatever. Oh, and actually that only makes one. Eh, darn it. Alright, and we do need three of these. I didn't remember make, needing that many. We need iron casings for that one. We need an electronic circuit. Which... We have enough of. Okay. Um, actually, I forgot to get the iron out. Hmm, let's just go like this and just make a bunch of them just because I know I'll be making a lot more batteries later so why not all right so one two three and that should be what we need for this and then after that we just need to make a tree tap so one two three four five okay and we'll need a crafting table all right Okay, and a tree tap. Well, that's what it said on here. Oh, did I make the wrong one? I did. Crap. Well, is there any more things that need a normal power unit? Alright, so... A chainsaw. Alright, so we'll go ahead and make that because I'd want to make, make, the, uh, make one of those anyway. Oh, gosh. Darn it. Oh, well. I'm sure some of you were like, what is he doing? <laughs> Alright, so we can go ahead and put one of these together. <laughs> That's no problem. Alright, so we'll just take all these. I don't really need more of those at the moment, so... Okay, so, chainsaw. Lumberjack assassin. Even though now it doesn't do... Oh, well, this one does more damage. But it looked like... That's really weird. So this one shows 9 attack damage. I guess this is just off. Okay. Well, I'll probably switch that out. <laughs> Unless I'm hunting for, you know, ender pearls and skulls. I might as well just use a chainsaw. Alright, so we'll upgrade that. But... If we can. Can we? Okay, I thought there was a medium upgrade like there was for the drill, but I guess not. Um, we could probably go ahead and do this, but I'm not really wanting to at the moment. I want my tree tap. <laughs> Alright, so what did we need for the normal... Oops. This one. Alright, so same thing pretty much, except for we only needed one battery. Alright. So, I'm completely wrong on that one. <laughs> Alright, 
so let's do this again. Like, um, what are you missing? Oh, the iron plates. Okay, so there's that part. Um, let's stack those. We need two of these. Uh, we don't have enough. That's bronze and that's bronze, so we need some more copper cables. Over here. Copper plates. Oh, I wonder why those aren't stacked. Um, let's go... Where's the scissors? Do you already have them? Yeah, break down. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. Let's just go ahead and get half, and half a stack here. I need a lot more than that later on, so might as well. Okay. I'll just put it like that. Alright, one. Oh, do I not have any iron ingots anymore? Okay. Well, I'll just get two of those. One, two. Okay. And one, two. And then... Oh, okay. Well, we can undo that one now since we have everything that can make it or be made from the power unit. Alright, so from here... Should be able to... No? I have the tin casings. I have the coils. And I have... Oh. Fine. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, let's go and do that. All right, and then from there, we have our circuit. What else do we need? We need one battery, so we've got that. And then we can make this, awesome. And I'm just gonna take these out, because I don't need them at the moment. I was using it to make these uh, inverted blue lamps. Okay, and now, we can make our electric tree tap. Tree tap. Woo! -hoo. All right. So, do I have any power in here? Nope, not really. I've been processing so much coal. Uh, that's actually like a small amount of coal compared to what I have been using. Uh, it took, I think, like four stacks of 64 of coal blocks to do this. So that was a lot of coal. But I wanted it to look nice, so. Alright, so I need... Oh, actually I need coal. So let's go ahead and toss it in here. Like so. That way we actually have some energy. Alright, so that one's full. And... How did that one get full? Did I put it in there? Oh! Stupid. Um, yeah. No comments. I mean, you can comment, but... Uh... I have names that I could call myself. But yeah, this works just like normal. There's nothing special about this. It just works. I'll show you. Just like normal. Except for it uses power. Which is really, really nice, because... Those normal tree taps, they run out so quickly. I mean, I can't even do all of these nodes with two of them. It takes three. So, uh... You can actually hear sounds from it now. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, I'll do 35. I know it's a little loud in the past episodes, but... Yeah. So, this thing is actually really, really fast when it comes to cutting down trees. So, pretty awesome. Um, and we've got our electric tree tap. I think that's a pretty good uh, progress for now. Let me go back in here. And I'm going to get a few things together. I think we're at the end of the episode. But, yeah, you know what? This is a good stopping point. I need to charge up my pack and do a few other things. And then we'll go on from there. So we're going to go ahead and cut it here. And I really hope you enjoyed the episode. Because it was a lot of work to get all these things down. So I hope it looks good. Um, this area over here, I think... I mean, if I hit F7, it doesn't show as having any problems. You know, with lighting. But 
I don't think these are that bright that they would reach all the way over there. I mean, I've got one down here, but lighting seems to be acting a little bit strangely at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I don't know. Oh, and I do want to leave this water pool here. I'm not sure quite why, but I, I don't know. I just, I want to. <laughs> and we've got squid in here. All right, maybe we'll just call this our squid farm because I'm sure we'll need ink for something. All right, but yeah, until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day.